Hey, what's up guys, Mick here, and I am back again today with this month's ToneHub update. This month, STL has made a big update to drastically improve the ToneHub plugin design. No more endless menu diving, just simplified intuitive control that's completely free for all existing and new ToneHub users. Now you can navigate to ToneHub with ease. The redesigned interface puts all the amazing features packed into ToneHub right in front of you for quick and easy access. With Global Search, you can instantly find the exact preset you're looking for. Simply start typing in the artist's name, amplifier, cabinet, microphone, gain type, anything. Let the powerful new Global Search engine find all the available presets so you can spend less time looking and more time playing. Downloadable content gives you instant access to new presets that you can download on demand all from within ToneHub. And to top it all off this month, we're getting a brand new mini trace pack from Jason Sukoff. Brand new tones from the producer and engineer for artists such as Trivium, Demon Hunter, and August Burns Red. This update isn't just about a new look, it's about giving you more time for your creativity. So let's jump into ToneHub and check this new one out. All right guys, so jump in right into ToneHub. Uh, as you can see, the new UI loads up with this kind of default amp, whatever you have saved in settings here. And you'll see these uh, menu selections on the side are gonna be a little bit different than what they previous were. So. Looking up here at presets, it's telling me right away that there's a new preset available. We will get to that in a minute. So coming into this presets page, it's immediately gonna start you off on the artist expansions page. And this is going to have the latest artist expansions right here up top. As you scroll down, you'll see all expansions. You can just hit show all to kind of more thoroughly browse through that. Below that we have amp expansion. So if you're looking for a specific amp, you can select by amp as well. It's also got your recently used down here at the bottom. And then if you happen to favorite some stuff as well, those will be listed down here. Uh, one of the most powerful things about this new user interface is this search bar up here. So if I were to go up here and type in say, Will Putney, I can just click on Will stuff and all of Will Putney's presets will come up in the browser page right here. And then what's also super cool is if you come up here and click on this, You've got Will Putney, I click on guitar and say I want high gain tones. I've got high gain, I can go down to this EVH and then to a Mesa cab. It's gonna bring up that specific selection via those options, which is super sweet, very convenient. You can just hit this X to back out of that. Hit this X to back out of the browser. Let's head back into presets. So now I wanna show you guys how to access some downloadable content. So over here on my profile, I can hit notifications, and then it shows me that I have a new trace pack from Jason Sukoff. It's gonna bring me over to Jason's Trace Exchange profile, and then from here, I can just go in and download. And when you download it, you can either you know put it in a previous folder or make a new folder for it. This way you can kind of more neatly organize your downloaded trace profiles. All right, so one thing I wanna note here is that if we go into notifications and we check out this new trace pack, these are only going to be available to ToneHub subscription users only. So you've gotta to subscribe to ToneHub in order to get these new mini trace packs like this new one from Jason Sukoff. Let's check out this brand new Jason Sukoff Never Walk. So coming into here. All right, so jumping right in here, we're checking out this 5153, the 2025 preset. It looks like we're going into a Maxon OD808 and that is going into the Mesa Boogie Oversized Cab mic'd with a Shure SM57. So let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Nice, that sounds pretty good. Let's tweak with it a little bit. I might wanna give it just a bump more gain and we're gonna drop the base of hair, leave the mids where they're at, open up the presence a little bit to like seven and let's just see what that sounds like. Now it's just a little bit more open. A lot of the times, like when you're plugging your guitar into some of these presets, you've just got to tweak it around just a little bit to match, you know, your pick, your strings, your guitar, just to kind of help optimize it a little bit. So it looks like below that, there's a version without an ODO8. I'm going to skip on that one. Head down to this Mesa Rev G 2025. <laughs> Super tight, super like really nice, squishy low mids, but like in a tight way. 
Let's play with this one as well. I think it has plenty of gain, but I want a little bit more bass out of this one and maybe a little less treble, but we'll open up the presence just a little bit and up the resonance a little bit. <laughs> Sweet. I think that definitely kind of helped open it up a little bit with the presence boost there. I really like that amp. That's one I definitely want to play on a little bit more. All right, Saldano solo tone. Let's check this out. So this solo tone is a blend between the Saldano SP77 and a 6505. So you get that kind of or more organic, maybe a little less compressed low end response from the SP77, I'm assuming, and uh, the kind of creamier mids and the high gain, a little bit more high gain saturation from the 6505. All of these are going into the uh, Mesa Boogie Oversize Cab with the SM57, classic combo right there. And then it looks like there's one more preset that is the same thing, but with the Maxon OD808 on there. It's like the perfect lead tone. It's super nice to play on. Very smooth, perfect creamy mids, plenty of gain. That's a lot of fun. If I had to change anything on here, which I don't really think I would, I might play with the mids a little bit. Maybe we'll drop the mids a hair and, you know, we'll do a little bit of presence boost and we'll just keep everything else as it is. Pretty solid. Pretty solid, pretty sweet. Really liking this one. Can't say I'd change too much about that. It's uh, it's my kind of lead tone, that's for sure. All right, folks, that does it for this month's Tone Up update. We hope you guys enjoyed this one. As you guys can see, super handy quality of life UI update here. Very easy to use. Having this presets page with all the other pages kind of subdivided into artist expansion, trace exchange, my traces, etc., just makes it super easy to navigate through. But even easier than that is using that brand new global search feature. You can just type in whatever you want. You want Mesa Boogie, it's gonna pull up all the Mesa Boogie stuff and the artist expansions or the amp expansions or the trace exchange, etc. If you want 5150, it's gonna do the same thing. And then if you wanna narrow it down even further, you can just go through the browser section and start selecting stuff like high gain, mid gain, or if you wanna boost in front or not, or if you want a Mesa cab or the EVH cab or a pedal, you can just select for each of those and it'll help you really narrow down the search for the tone that you're looking for. And it makes it super quick to find awesome tones. All the tones are awesome, but you know what I mean. Uh, Speaking of awesome tones, we've got that brand new Jason Sukoff Never Walk mini trace pack. Again, you do have to be a Tone Hub subscription user in order to get access to those new mini trace packs that are going to be available on here. Um, but those tones, those are great. Those are perfect for, especially for me. I'm like a, you know, chuggy chuggy metal guy. All of those tones sound awesome. Super fun to shred on, super fun to riff on. Uh, I'll definitely be looking forward to more tones like that in the future. If you guys haven't yet, head on over to stltones.com so you can download Tone Hub and check it out today. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.